with this heat especially, seeing Sally Fitzgibbons in that number one jersey and just uh, to see if she just rises to that occasion. It's going to be a big one for Sally Fitzgibbons. She's up against Coco Ho and the local wild card, Teresa Bonvolo. The youngster uh, really has a chance right now to make a big name for herself on uh, the uh, ultimate stage, the championship tour here at the World Surf League. And we're going to see first wave of Teresa. And unfortunately, just bogs that second turn. So maybe get some of the nerves out at this point. Get back out there. Plenty of time left. 26 minutes coming down. Let's take a look at this replay bro, from Coco. Wow, Coco just has that backhand on lock. She's really found a nice wall to work with here. Just enjoy Coco's read on this wave. She does such a great job of staying in that pocket. I'm sure is going to want to make her charge. And Sage Erickson, she's been very vocal to say, hey, I'm looking at a world title now yeah. after her win at the, at the Vans US Open. Turn our attention quickly to Coco Ho for one turn and a kick out there. Sally looks at this wave and uh, decides not to go. A little bit of texture on the water. We had a fog bank outside that was uh, keeping some of this onshore wind from developing. But as that fog bank on the horizon starts to lift, we may see a little bit more sea breezes come into play. And here we're going to take a look at Sally Fitzgibbons. Got a little hung up on that turn number two, but able to work her way out of that. She's going to have to take the low road on this double up. But a little bit more opportunity for Fitzgibbon stays busy, and that's going to be our opening ride. Coco Ho is going to have a, a small backup and uh, remain in first place. Let's take another look at Sally's wave. Yes, yeah, Sally on a set wave here. Up to tag that section. This is where she gets a little bit hung up. I'd like to see her just dig into that maneuver and come out clean. So the judges are going to take that into consideration. Still completes a nice ride. That wave had some size to it, so a bit of push. This turn right here, let's see. Just a kind of set up speedy backhand turn. Great bottom turn going into this one, but right there, just that chop on the water. Even her foot kind of moves a little bit closer to the rail. So Sally doing her adjustments to get back on the open face. Finishes it out, so could we see... I think Sally's going to want to build on that on that wave, but I think it could be the best of the heat so far. Oh, and she's right back at it. Staying busy, Fitzgibbons is already going to get a backup, uh, a small one it was. Maybe we're going to catch up on a replay for the beginning of that wave. Her opening score, 6.5, so jumps into the lead with just a single wave score, already showing dominance, Sally Fitzgibbons. Back to you, Kipes. Thank you, Peter Mel, and congratulations to Carissa Moore. Live action here with Sally Fitzgibbons, our heat leader, and our leader on the Jeep leaderboard as well. Sally working this one over, wants to ditch that four-point ride. She may have just done that and ex increased her lead. What do you think, Rosie? Yeah, I'm going to agree with you. Really got busy on that wave, and it's interesting to see the pace of a heat. It seems like Sally on that third wave really started to open up. I think hearing those scores lock in gave her a bit of confidence and now she feels like she can free it up a little bit. 2017 Championship Tour, it has been a landmark year. The surfing just continues to progress and the field, the talent continues. Here's an eye to the future talent with Teresa Bonvolo, the local, Kashkais local with a couple of nice forehand lip glides there right behind her. Coco Ho, and unfortunately Coco kind of Got a little ahead of herself, but didn't lose a lot because the wave closed out. Yeah, blessing in disguise to go down that early on that wave. Just reposition herself in that lineup. You can see that kick of frustration, though. And I don't think that's a mistake that Coco is going to make again. You can see this wave. Sally has a look, and then Coco takes a little dig at it there. But I think, like I said... Next month, let's take a look at it again. The 417 from Teresa on her forehand. You can see this aggressive approach. Just mentioned the maturity that she's brought this year. A few days ago, it was 10 foot out here. As we look at Sally Fitzgibbons, our heat leader, looking very comfortable and surfing now with some confidence because she knows she's got a couple of keep her, keep her scores. Don't know if that one's going to overtake her low of a 5.17, but just looking good, looking informed, looking comfortable, Sally Fitzgibbons. 
Well, there we take a look at um, all of the points and money awarded. Let's take a little look at what's happened so far in this heat. Well, Coco Ho started out this one with that 4.83, so set the scale. Some beautiful backhand cracks. We're still waiting to see her lock in a second scoring ride, but Sally Fitzgibbons, strength of her backhand, looking smooth, a couple catches, but a 6.5 awarded for this wave. Finishes it off with a clean cut through the face. Straight back out there, Capo. She got straight back out there and got busy again, didn't she? She did a 5-1-7 on this exchange. So Sally Fitzgibbons out in the lead. Clean, smooth surfing. It's Razor, the wild card on her forehand. Aggressive approach. That 4-1-7. All of these ladies having opportunity, but it is Sally at the moment in the lead. Was that by design? Oh, here we go. This happened during the recap, Rosie. Ooh, important way for Coco Ho. Oh, just misstep on that last turn. Had she hammered that home, could have seen Coco. You're right. We could have seen Coco up in the lead right there because she got a 5-8-3 even with that misstep. She's now in second place, but if she had cleaned that finish up... Oh, it would have been lats out for sure taking the lead so coco fighting back much smaller number the requirement for coco ho she's going to take a look at another left and we're going to go with coco ho big snap gets up there in the lip again a little foam climb a couple of nice turns right behind her teresa nice cutty lip glide and teresa finishes off she should have ridden that one out a little, a fraction more, but definitely great surfing from Teresa. Interesting to see her kind of, Sally was pacing her down the beach. She broke away, found that wave. Teresa, second, dropped down into third after Coco got that last wave. Does well to get back into the power source of this wave, finishes it off there. That's where I just wanted to see her ride out clean, but Coco Ho put herself up into second place for the previous ride now hunting at 5.85 Sally got a wave as well wow Ooh, so Sally incomplete on that maneuver trying to get aggressive on her forehand so the important score we're, wa we're waiting for right now is for blue Coco Ho and the requirement 585. We'll see what the judges think of it and we'll see if uh, Coco can do some last minute upsets over Sally Fitzgibbons. The uh, score is not going to be enough. Still one more judge before we can make this standing official and it is a 4.37. Not enough for Coco Ho. Sally Fitzgibbons continues on to round number three, Coco Ho and Teresa Bonvolo relinquish to round number two, which we may be seeing happen today as well.